Hi, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision, and welcome back to Certificates in Niagara. In this episode, we're going to take a look at using a key and a certificate that an IT department uh, provides you with. And IT departments often have their own certificate authorities, like we created in the previous video. Uh, IT departments often have done a lot of that work for you. They've deployed the certificate authorities to all of their client computers, uh, so you don't have to worry about doing that. So using an IT-provided certificate and key is often in your best interest because it gives you one less thing to have to worry about. And maybe you don't use a key that they provide you. Maybe you generate it uh, in your Niagara station yourself and just have them sign it. Either way, there's a lot of benefits uh, that come from leveraging that IT infrastructure that's already in place and that, that manpower that's already in place takes one thing off of your shoulders that you don't have to worry about. But the one thing to keep in mind is that all the requirements that we've talked about previously uh, still apply. So we need to have a PEM file. We need to have a proper order uh, of our certificate um, in order to import those things into Niagara. And importing these things is pretty easy. If you're using a key and certificate that are provided by the IT department, um, we're just going to open up the certificate manager in our JSON or our server. In my case, we're just going to do it on my local host. So essentially a supervisor. Uh, we'll click the import button in the certificate manager, and then we'll find the IT department's provided uh, PEM file. The one note is prior to that, you just have to make sure that that PEM file is formatted correctly um, because depending on the IT department, they may give you different things. So we'll take a look at that now. All right, so I've got this folder of PEM files that my um, hypothetical IT department has provided me with. I've got a chain PEM file, I've got a chain only, I've got a certificate, and I've got a key. So if we break this down, it, Depending on your IT department, you might have to investigate this a little bit further. But in my case, I know that this chain file has the full chain of trust that I need, including the certificate. The chain only includes uh, that full chain of trust minus the certificate. The certificate is just my server certificate, and then the key is the server key. So in this case, I know that the chain gives me 99% of what I need, and that last percent is going to be to add that key into the chain of trust so that we can import everything in one single file. So to start off, I'm going to open up this chain file in VS Code, and we can see it's just two certificates that are included in there. And then I'm going to open up the key as well. And then that's just an RSA private key, and we know that because of the, the header and footer lines here uh, that say RSA private key. So to make this into a single file, all I'm going to do is do a copy for the key, go into my chain file, come to the top, create a new line, paste in that private key, and then I'm going to do a save. But... I'm going to save this as a new name, and I'm just going to add key to the end of the name here. Hit save. And now we've got this new file that is exactly what Niagara needs. It's got our full chain of trust, including the server certificate, and then we added in the private key to the beginning as well. So now I'm going to hop into Niagara, go into the platform of my station, or my, my supervisor in this case, pop into the certificate manager and then I'm just going to do an import. Then I will navigate to the folder that I know that I have this in, find that chain key file, do an open, hit OK, and that's it. Now we've got our certificate imported and it comes in with the check because this certificate was signed by a trusted uh, Certificate, certificate authority. Um, and all we would need to do now is change that certificate in whatever servers we want to use it in. So that's how you import an IT provided uh, certificate and key. And like I mentioned before, it all is really going to depend on what that IT department gives you. Um, but at the end of the day, the super important things are PEM file uh, order 
that your certificates are in inside of that PEM file. And then if you need to add in the private key as well, you pop that to the top. So that does it for this episode, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.